Hank Thompson is one of baseball's barrier breakers, although so many folks have never heard of who this legendary ball player was. Hank Thompson, along with his Monarch teammate Willard Brown, would join the St. Louis Browns in 1947. They would become the first two African-American teammates in the modern era of Major League Baseball to play on a Major League team. Just shortly after Jackie Robinson, Larry Doby had integrated both the National League and American Leagues, respectively. They all were part of breaking baseball's color barrier, but Hank Thompson he had all the tools to be a superstar. Henry Hank Thompson is a tremendously underrated baseball player. He joins the Kansas City Monarchs at age 17 and became almost an instant star, playing the infield primarily third base. But Hank Thompson was also a war hero. He was a machine gunner during World War II, fought in the Battle of the Bulge. When he was discharged from the military in 1946, resumed a great career right the moment he gets back with the Monarchs, Hank Thompson had stardom written all over him. Hank Thompson had all the tools you needed to be a great star. He was essentially a five-tool third baseman who hit for power, hit for average, could field, could run, and could throw. Played a dazzling infield, primarily third base. Yeah, that's how good Hank Thompson was. The St. Louis Browns thought that Hank Thompson and Willard Brown would do for them what Jackie had done for Brooklyn in terms of black fans coming over to watch the Browns play. And so they never got a fair shot with the St. Louis Browns. Hank Thompson and Willard Brown both realized that they had left a team in the Kansas City Monarchs who were far better than the St. Louis Browns. Hank Thompson comes back home to Kansas City and immediately puts up huge numbers. Shortly thereafter, the New York Giants come calling. And Henry Thompson again would break barriers by becoming the only player to integrate two major league teams, the St. Louis Browns and the New York Giants. In 1946, when Bob Feller and Satchel Paige hook up in an epic barnstorming tour from East Coast to West Coast, right after the World Series in 1946, Bob Feller had his All-Stars and the legendary Satchel Paige had his Satchel Paige All-Stars. We're talking the creme de la creme on both teams. Satchel's lineup was stacked. Buck O'Neill, Quincy True. Willard Brown. And according to Bob Feller, the best of the bunch on that Satchel Page All-Star team was a young Hank Thompson.
Thompson would then go on to face in a game against Larry Doby, where they become the two first black players to compete against one another in Major League Baseball. Oh, but there's more. Hank Thompson would face the great Don Newcomb, and it would be the first time that a black hitter had faced a black pitcher in Major League Baseball history. And of course, Hank Thompson, Willie Mays, and the great Monty Irvin would form the Major's first all-black outfield, even though Hank Thompson was an infielder by trade. His versatility made him very special. Henry Thompson's career was cut so short by some of his own doing, and he would be the first, if he was still with us, to tell you that he lived his life in such a way that it really did kind of hurt his professional baseball career. He only plays nine years in the major leagues. And again, it's so unfortunate that his career was cut so dreadfully short that it never got to play out in the fashion in which Henry Thompson would be the first to say, that he wished it would have had things worked out maybe a little bit differently. Henry suffered a lot of darkness during his childhood that unfortunately carried over into his playing career that really hindered him from having what I believe would have potentially been a Hall of Fame caliber career. <laughs> <laughs> 